All right, welcome back or welcome to everyone who is the first time viewer on this channel. Today I'm doing something that I am extremely excited to do and that's gonna be an unboxing, an initial setup of the GoPro Hero 11 Creator Edition. That's what I have in this box. I also ordered the Max Lens Mod, all right, for the Hero 11 and two SD cards. So let's start opening this up. Let's see what we're working with. I'll move the Mod Lens out of the way SD cards out of the way, and we'll just start with the GoPro Creator Edition. So again, GoPro Hero 11, super exciting. This just came out on the 14th. Today is September 16th, so just two days after its release. Uh, I'm hoping this takes my, my YouTube videos to the next level, all right? And just have some fun with this. All right, so I kind of dig the packaging thus far paper. There it is. All right. Creator edition. So let's see what we have inside of here. All right. And I don't know about you guys. I'm kind of a weirdo. I like to like open the boxes nice. All right. And not like destroy them. Um, I don't know why actually. Uh, mainly because my kids actually like to mess around with these. So we'll open this up and let's see what this Creator Edition box is all about. All right, a nice GoPro carry case, if you will. Oops. Let's keep that on. All right, so nice case, carrying handle. All right, I'm into that. Okay, it's always good to have something to carry your gear uh, instead of just having like a backpack uh, to throw it in with no protection. All right, so let's open this up. And let me slide this over a little here. That's better. Okay, so the Creator Edition must be updated before you, before you can use it. All right, so you're gonna install the Quick App on your phone, have internet, follow the instructions, and then what I'll do is I'll plug the cable from the grip into the camera, not into the media mod. The grip will automatically update if needed. All right, so let's get everything out. And then in the setup, we'll come back to this. All right, so let's just look at the case candy. I don't know if they call that here in the GoPro community, but you know, my guitar always comes with case candy when you get a new ax. All right, so pro tips for best cold weather performance, always nice. Um, I definitely hope to be shooting some snowboarding this winter. Product questions, chat with their answers, chat with their experts. We also have here uh, all types of consumer safety stuff. Okay. Now, let's get into this. All right, so this is showing us how to open up and get this camera set up, all right? So we'll be, we'll be coming back to this in just a moment. And then and it shows you how to attach the handle, the setup, and we got some stickers. Always nice. All right, so here, the safety instructions, you know, don't eat batteries, all that stuff. All right, nothing too important. All right. So now let's take a look at what we have in here, okay? So we'll just start with the Hero 11 itself. Wow, look at this. Look at the size of this thing. This is awesome, all right? The camera must be updated before you can use it. All right, they're telling me that everywhere. Okay, so let's set this down. Okay, we have the media mod, I believe, here. Yep, flip through your modes. Awesome. And this came as part of the Creator Studio package. All right. Let's also get this out for our media mod. This is gonna be the light, and it comes with a diffuser. So if you don't want it super bright in your face or in anyone's face while you're filming, uh, you put this diffuser on 
and be good to go. And it's similar to like a diffuser you use on any lights or flashes. So we'll put that there. This I'm assuming is the battery. Yep, GoPro battery, okay. comes with the handle okay yeah this is awesome so I'm gonna have to mess around with this but this when you you know hook up the GoPro you can cycle through your modes power uh, Bluetooth all types of things and uh, when I do a review of this an initial like uh, use I'll go through all of that okay here we go even has the handle and then you just flip these out I've got a tripod, super cool, awesome, 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 awesome. I'll set that there. Okay, and then down below, as you can see here, it has all your mount accessories, um, all types of things like that. They're gonna help you mount this. The things like that come with. Let's take a look. Let's just take it out. This whole piece actually comes out like that. I'll slide this back. So let's look here. All right, so you've got a microphone uh, for your media mod. This will definitely help with, um, like definitely help with noise, wind reduction. That's gonna go over like that. I'm just putting it on loosely. Set that there. You got a shoe mount. I want to say this should be for the light. Yeah, this looks like that. Uh huh. Nope. Actually, I don't know what that is. We'll find out when we get this set up, though. All right. Got two USB. I want to say these are USB C's cables here. All right. Set that there. Got another one. Different types of mounting hardware. Also part of the mounting hard there. Make sure we're not throwing anything else out. All right. Okay, with this thing, just a lot of cardboard. Again, this is nice though. I'll, I'll definitely support that it's cardboard. Let me cycle this. All right. Less plastic. Let's put that out of the way. If we look here on the back, this is everything we've got, all right? So here's your Volta grip, Volta grip. Like I said, mounting hardware. Come in here, we got our mounting hardware, um, like that. You got the Hero 11 black, definitely have that. Have the media mod here. Sorry, I'm off camera. Media mod, the microphone that goes over it. Uh, whoops, Let's slide that there, microphone. Then we look here, the light mod, the diffuser and the light. We have those here. Got our battery. This is what's in the case of shows you got our battery. And again, all types of various things that we're gonna need to get this set up, all right? So now, what I'm gonna do is follow the instructions 
and we'll get this thing set up. So let me get those out, get in a better place to get this set up, and we'll get rocking and rolling. Okay, so let's get this all set up here. Everyone's favorite part, peeling off this stuff. All right, so we'll get rid of that. And for now, I'm going to keep keep this on while I while I get the camera set up, all right? Because I'm not filming anything and no sense getting fingerprints all over this, all right? So following these directions here, we're going to pop open the battery case, put the battery in, I'm going to charge it, all right? So that's going to be the first thing we do here. So the battery case is located, or the battery slot is located on the side, which will do. Slide this, pop this down, and it's going to pop open. And you're going to take your Enduro battery. And as you can see in the image here, it shows you how to stick it in. So you want to model that. All right, so like that it should go in. All right, it's in place. Now, I'm going to take one of these cables here, this cable here, and I'm going to charge this. All right, I'm going to charge this. And once it's charged, I'll bring it back out and we'll finish getting this set up. Well, since I'm not a fan of just sitting around and waiting for things, it's really awesome that you can look here and we can get the Volta, Volta handle set up. So let's take a look at this because I was wondering to myself, how do I charge this thing? How does this get the juice? So we're looking here, it says we gotta pop open this little flap. And there's a little battery indicator. All right, so I think in here, Yep, we charge here, all right, and then on here, I believe it should show us the battery status. So again, they gave us a second one of these to charge our second device. So while the GoPro is charging, the battery is charging, I'm going to charge this up as well, because why waste time? All right, so once they're all set up, I'll get back here, we'll complete this setup. All right, got the GoPro is finally charged, all right. The Volta is charged. So one thing I didn't show earlier was when I put that battery in, now if you have an SD card, you're going to want to put that in as well. All right, and let's take a look at where that goes. There's a slot right above it, okay? You're just going to stick this in there. Get it seated. Oops. So you put that in first, there we go. You've got it seated in there, then you put your battery in. All right, and this tab, it's gonna help you pull it out. Okay, so we'll secure that. All right, so that's all sealed up. Like this, like this. And now remember, we had those directions. Creator Edition must be updated before you can use it. All right, so install the GoPro Quick app on your phone. All right, so since I'm filming with my phone, which will be one of the last times I do that, I'm gonna take these two things, get them set up with my phone, and then I'll be back. Okay. Okay, let's go through uh, setting the rest of this up. So I already set the camera up. Uh, with my iPhone. Sorry I couldn't film that. Uh, one thing you want to be sure is that you connect to your network. Uh, that was giving me an error because uh, I wasn't connected to my network. So apparently it was just uh, not, not setting it up. So anyway, we're back. We'll turn this on uh, in just a moment. What we're going to do now is get this set up in the media mod housing and then connect it to the Volta here and see what it all looks like. All right, but first, total brain, brain fart, I forgot to charge... Uh, the light. So the way to do that is take a look here. And there, they got some cool stuff at GoPro. I will not lie. This is pretty nifty. There's a little lever here. Pull that down. That pops this up. And you've got a charging port right there. So I'm going to go charge this. And I'll be right back. We'll get the rest of this set up. All right. That's not going to take too long to charge. I don't, I don't think. All right. So let's do this. You know, everyone loves peeling off the plastic from something. So let's get up close and see if we can peel it off for you. That's nice. That's nice. And they give you the nice tabs that make it real easy to peel it off. Let's get this one for all the viewers. 
All right, well, that's charging. Let's get this put inside the media mod here. Let's zoom in a little bit too, a little further up. That's good. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it inside of here. Now, one thing you wanna do first is you have to open up the media mod case. All right, inside this down here. And it'll open there, all right? Now, there's gonna be a port right here for, your, for USB. So we're gonna set this down, and it could be confusing because you're like, well, it has to go in here according to the directions, right? But it says remove the door. So let's do that together. So if you have the media mod, you're going to want to remove the battery cover door. Now how we do that, I don't know. Looks like it just pops right off, look at that. All right, man, GoPro makes things real easy. So it just goes into there and it would it snap back into place and would close. All right, so don't lose this. Uh, I'm gonna put it in my case. So now, now it makes sense that this will slide into this because you're gonna line it up right into that hole right there, okay? So let's get this set up here. And we're gonna push it in. Okay, let's seat it in there. And then we just close that over it. All right, so now we are in the media mod housing. So what else comes with this? You wanna set up your microphone, um, microphone cover or whatever they're calling this. I don't, sorry if I don't know the technical term, GoPro fans uh, doing the best I can as my first GoPro. So we're gonna put this over here and it snaps into place. Okay, we feel that. And we're gonna put, uh, when I get the, the light out, maybe put it on the side or you can put it on this shoe, shoe mount here or here, which is really nice. Um, and then, so now you're probably thinking, well, how do we, how do we hook up the Volta? How do I keep this thing charging while I'm using it? So let's take a look. Voila, another port. Genius. And I think they have a port here. I want to say it might be for a headphone, 3.5 millimeter, if I'm not mistaken. And then another port here. All right, so let's get those closed and we'll get the Volta set up. All right, now let's take a quick look at that, uh, that light charge. So I put it on here, all right? And the way you're gonna turn it on, the way you're gonna slide it in, uh, for those of you who've never used like a, a horn mount, like on a camera before, just take a look at this. This is gonna point forward. You just slide it into there. Or shoe mount, I'm calling it a horn mount, it's a shoe mount, sorry about that. I sound like the fool. All right, so it's mounted on there. Push the power button, pretty bright. Take it off, real bright. All right, and again, when I do a, like a review of all this stuff, then you just hold it down for several seconds, it turns off. Uh, when I do a review of all this stuff, we'll see how it holds up. So that's how you attach that. All right, a few things, all right? So one, you've got your controls here, which will control your GoPro on the side of the Volta, right? It's got a Bluetooth battery, power mode. I got I got to learn all these, but here we got some controls. Also, flip this out. I right, put it here. And I'll I'll probably do a whole other video on the Volta itself. But anyway, when you're hooking it up, just know that this head pivots. This will this will swivel. I put the tool in there and you just move it and you're good. Move it back. All right. So, for the purpose of this, like for the filming I'll be doing, I most likely will have you know, the GoPro, whoops, I spun this the wrong way. You know, facing this way and recording. You can also flip it this way if you wanna, you know, record in yourself, uh, things like that, all right? So, we'll get it on here right now. I'm gonna flip down these two things. I don't know the technical term for them. I'm gonna drop them in here. in this earlier you'd think I'd have the hang of sliding it in all right so 
we got it there. And you want to look, think of it, look at how your camera is set up, right? It's designed for it to fit here. I got a little confused at first. So we screw it into place. Nice and secure, all right? Then you open up this, connect the Volta, and you're all set. All right, let's zoom out a little bit. You got your camera set up right on there. It shows it's connected, which is great. Um, let's see if we can turn it on. And yeah, so that's how it looks like that. And then let's get to see if we can turn this on and things like that. We'll be right back. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pair this up real quick. Uh, we'll add the, the light and then we should be kind of wrapping up. I'll show you a few of the modes, we'll go through that. And then uh, I'm gonna do a more in-depth video of all the things this has to offer a little bit later uh, after I run it through a few different things. So anyway, all right, let's go back here. Let's get out of this home screen. So all right, right now, I'm gonna swipe down, I'm gonna swipe this way, go to preferences, all right? Wireless connections, uh, we're gonna go in there. We're gonna turn those on. All right, connect a device. Uh, Volta. And then I'm going to unplug the power from here. I'm gonna hold down the Bluetooth for four seconds, it says. All right, connection successful. So now check this out. Hit the mode button. Cycles through the modes. Okay, this will record that we are now rolling. Ooh. All right, let's stop it. Uh, yeah, and kind of we'll do a bunch of other things. So now that we did that, we can also plug it in here. We'll still be able to control it, all right? So all that different good stuff. All right, so we have that. So let's get this off of here and then I'll run it through a few of like what the screens look like and then we'll get out of here. All right, so here's the back. When you swipe down, you are presented with this screen, okay? You can do voice controls, turn the beeps on or off. Uh, I forget what this one does. You can lock the screen, all right, come in here. You can do front screen options, no front screen, status only, actual screen, full screen. All right, we'll go actual screen. Um, orientation, you can lock it and here, oh man, it doesn't capture it as well. Enabling max lens mobile, disable your video mode. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, you can come in here, you have video modes. Um, this is on, yeah, you can go highest quality, uh, extended battery, um, controls, all right? You can come into controls, pro or easy. Easy will just give you a bunch of easy, basic, like preloaded presets. Um, pro kind of puts the controls in your hand, all right? So I set it to pro. Let me take a look there. And yeah, so we got your preferences here. You know, you can set up auto upload. Um, you can do that. You got your wireless connections. You got general different things, beep volume, quick capture, default preset, auto off on, anti-flicker. Uh, I'm gonna be really honest. This is the touch screen on here. Uh, I was not too sure how I was gonna feel about it, how good it was gonna be. It's pretty awesome. It's up there with like an iPhone, I would say. Um, so I think here, if we come under Controls Pro, we'll do that. All right, I forget what that button's for. We'll learn later. So we got it set to Pro. And uh, that's that. So here it is again, the GoPro 11. We are on the Preferences. And let's get out of that screen. This thing is dope. All right, so let's turn it off. Let me just hold this down. Okay, so that was my unboxing, uh, pretty quick setup and overview of the GoPro Hero 11. Uh, this is the creator mode or the creator version. 
uh, that I just picked up. So far, it seems pretty cool. I'm really looking forward to using this. I'm gonna go shoot some videos, uh, maybe today and tomorrow. Uh, I hopefully get those uploaded shortly after to show you the quality. Maybe even do some uh, with the iPhone 13 Pro that I've been using. Uh, I'm using to film this right now versus the GoPro Hero 11. Uh, I'm actually interested to see all the different things I can now do. So, you know, thanks for watching. I really hope this tutorial helped out, or not tutorial, uh, this unboxing and quick setup helped everyone out. I hope it helps you make your decision on whether or not you should purchase one of these. And yeah, hit that like button. Consider hitting that subscribe button if it helps you guys. I uh, can get more videos coming. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to everyone later.